Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this, the next episode of the Classic Wrestling Series. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a special episode because it's one I went to see live. Ladies and gentlemen, we are watching XWA's Last Fight at the Proms 2011. So, ladies and gentlemen, the XWA was a wrestling promotion that I used to train with. And some of the guys on the show I trained with who are now actually in the WWE. So, seeing that the WWE have just ha had their NXT UK pay-per-view for the first time, and the Royal Rumble's coming up, I have something special for that next week, I decided that I would go back and watch a classic wrestling pay-per-view from 2011. So, ladies and gentlemen, the first match was Joey Hayes versus Max Andrus. It was a very good match. Uh, Joey Hayes is always good. Uh, I've always supported Joey Hayes in wrestling uh, because he's a damn good wrestler. Uh, one of the longest reigning Future Shot Wrestling Tag Team Champions with his partner, Danny Hope, um, as the models. Uh, really good match, a uh, good way to start the match, and yeah, it was, you know, uh, not a lot of big moves, a uh, nice uh, drop box stir by Max uh, to get a very close uh, two count, and yeah, uh, Joey Hayes wins with the JKO, which is an RKO, uh, for the three count. Now we've just had Axel Rage versus Rockstar Spud, and well, Spud as we all know, would become Drake Maverick. Uh, Spud would be in TNA for a little bit and then would go and join the WWE. This guy is bloody brilliant. I love Spud. I love Rage. Rage, being the heel, is damn good. I trained with him. Uh, I know the wrestling ability he has is second to none. It's brilliant. So, yeah, and Spud, well, Rockstar Spud is Spud. Uh, he's Brilliant face, heel, whatever. Um, you can love him as a face and you detest him as a heel. He's that damn good. He reminds me of Eddie uh, Eddie Guerrero a little bit. Um, just the way he can cheat to win and stuff like that. It's really, really good. Um, one of the weirder things, the match technically never started because the uh, bell never ran. So it's one of those, uh, okay. Um, but yeah, uh, really, really good match. A way to um, get this feud over and done with. Uh, Rockstar Spud would have a neck injury. Uh, he would come back at a previous show called The Gold Rush. Um, never know. And yeah, it was a really, really good match. Uh, Rockstar Spud gets the win with the Spud Gun, aka a. -A. So, yes, Rockstar Spud and Axel Rage. A uh, very, very good match. And now we will be doing. Declan O'Connor versus J.D. Sazoon. Looking forward to this one. So we just had Declan O'Connor versus J.D. Sazoon, and six minutes match wasn't too bad, but it set it set up a longer feud between the Blackpool Blondes and the returning Manchester Massive to XWA. Really, really good match. Uh, J.D. Sazoon again, James Drake in. Um, the uh, NXT UK. Uh, really good. Again, good wrestler. Always been. And yeah, it's always interesting to see where people come from. So next up will be RJM versus CJ Banks versus El Ligiero. So we just had the triple threat match, uh, RJM versus CJ Banks versus El Ligiero, and it was a really, really good match. My mom and I seem to find the um, case. Um, really good backwards and forwards triple threat match. Uh, two heels, one face, always works. And yeah, it was a good match. A beautiful tilt of world into a pinning predicament uh, from El Ligiero onto CJ Banks. Um, just high action from El Ligiero, groundwork, and yeah, it was a really good match. El Ligiero would get the win. And would then face uh, Jinx for the Best of the Northwest Cup uh, at the next show, which was really, really good. Unfortunately, I don't own that DVD. So, guys, coming up next is the Six Man Tag. So, we just had Nathan Cruz, Colossus, and Dave Wayne versus Johnny Fear, Sticks, and Sam Slam. Six really good workers in this match. And yeah, it was really good. Uh, Nathan Cruz is. By far one of the best professional wrestlers uh, that I've seen, you know, that I've seen in a while. And yeah, it's really, really good. Dave Rain is Dave Rain. He's good as a face, good as a heel, brilliant. Uh, some of his best work was in Future Shot Wrestling and PCW, I thought. Johnny Fear, basically just think of a muscular psychopath. The psychotic warrior, basically, he was known as. Um, Stids had a undefeated streak going into this. He would not be pinned or submitted in like eight years or something stupid like that in Markham. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. Uh, Johnny Fear would get the win and then would face Dave Wayne quickly for the FWA Championship, which he would win. So guys, that was my review of Last Fight at the Proms. But next week, guys, 
next week I've got something special planned. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day. And guys, you're going to enjoy next week. See you in a bit.